today I'm opening up another very large Amazon custom return shoes, sneakers, boots. If it goes in your feet, it could be in here. Amazon custom return liquidation coffin box that came on one huge pallet. This box is huge, it's heavy. Let me set this thing down and we'll get going. So this box weighs 46 pounds. So it's not a light box. I've done maybe what, two or three of these huge Amazon customer turn coffin boxes full of nothing but sneakers and shoes. And they have all been insanely profitable. A lot of brand new shoes in these boxes. So hopefully this next one is gonna be just as good. So a lot of these pairs will be for sale on eBay, but I'm actually, if you don't already, there is a reselling platform where you can buy and sell called the Whatnot app. I'm actually gonna have a pure sneaker shoe auction on Whatnot coming very, very soon. And with this auction, you can buy live from me auction style. It's a lot of fun. That's actually where I sell pretty much all of my Funko Pops at and comic books, other collectibles. And I'm gonna start doing possibly some more sneaker auctions on there. Wow, okay. This box looks really good. Wow, um, let me get like, a, like an overhead shot of, of just my cell phone and uh, I'll let you see what I'm looking at right now. Just open up the box, this is what I'm seeing. Look at this, I'm seeing Saucony, Sperry's, Asics, uh, what, what's that box, can't tell. More Asics, Under Armour, Columbia's, uh, there's some Converse. I'm seeing quite a few pretty nice looking sneakers in here. So let's get into this. Let's see what gems are in this box. You ready to do this? Here we go. First shoe. Let me pull out these Asics right here. This box says it is, this box is like full of shoes. This says this is a size 14. So my normal size is a size 13, but I can go 14. As, it, there's a little bit extra room in them. Here we go. Got some Asics. What do we got? Oh, look at that with tag still attached right there. Awesome. First pair out of the box. And there's a brand new pair of Asics. Let me see if I can find these on eBay. Let's see how much these things sell for. If you're looking on eBay, these sell be uh, actually around 60 bucks on average 60 60 60 about 60 bucks first parachute out of the gate 60 bucks yeah some of these shoes like i said i'm actually going to hold back and sell them in my whatnot auction make sure you download the app um there's a drive link down below where you can download it and i'll see you in the auction oh we got some, oh let's say got some vans what it's like U.S. Men 7.5, women's size 9. Ooh, some more brand new shoes. Nice. <laughs> right now, we're two for two with brand new shoes. Can't beat that. That is freaking awesome. Let's look these up. So these vans on eBay, they honestly go between 50 and 60 bucks for these vans. Between 50 and 60 all day long. Hey, that's not bad. Uh, men's size 7.5. Yeah, these should sell pretty freaking easily. They should sell pretty easily. Here we go. Next one. What we got? Oh, here we got some uh, Steve Madden. Let's see. These are Maxima Dash R Black 7.5s. Steve Madden. Wow, that's some sparkly things. Okay, can you see the sparkles in them? Hopefully the lights didn't just dry. Those have all kinds of sparkle to them. I've never seen this before. Steve Madden, very sparkly. She looks like a women's size 7.5. Brand new shoes once again. Wow, these shoes 
This exact same pair, size 7.5, just sold a week ago for $100 on eBay. Here's another pair for 95, 99, 109. These are $100 pair of shoes right there. Wow, nice, here we go. Another pair of Asics, we've got men's size 12 gel venture eights at the same as the other ones i think they might have i think they were right no these were gel contend sevens but this pair they're brand new wow they're brand new super night ortholite foam insoles crazy nice pair of shoes Woo, okay how much do these sell for Looks on eBay around 50 bucks on average. They've gone as high as like 80, but I'm seeing most of them around like 50 bucks. So hey, that's not bad. This entire box right here only cost me $300. This whole box of shoes. And there are a lot of pairs to go still. We've just barely even touched this box. Here we go. Next, we got a pair of Timberlands. Uh, let's see, men's size 11 Ashwood Park slip-on navy canvas. I love these shoe pallets because you get brand new pairs of shoes. Those, those are brand new. <laughs> Another brand new pair. That is craziness. This pair sells between 50 and 60 bucks on eBay. 50 to 60 bucks right there. <laughs> I'll take that too. Here we go. We've got some... Cole Hans. Uh, women's size 9.5. Oh, brand new shoes again. Brand new shoes. They actually are really nice looking shoes. Cole Hans. Super nice. That is craziness. So far, every pair has been brand new. These sell on average between like 60 to 70 bucks on eBay. Wow. <laughs> the shoe pallets are insane. Next we got bear, well actually we'll do these back to back. We got two bear paws. Let's see, this is size 7.5 women's and size 7.5 women's. They're actually the same shoe. 1295 WX Gray Fog. So it's actually the exact same shoe. Googles are all still packaged up and everything. Wow, okay, nice. Look, we got some like house shoes. They're brand new. Two pairs. Two pairs, brand new. The brand is Bear Paw. I don't know if that's a good brand or not. I don't think I've ever heard of Bear Paw. But it's got nice packaging, nice presentation. They're probably decent quality shoes. So these sell on average for around like 40 bucks. Around 40 bucks. I got two pairs, 40 bucks each. Possibly $80 right here. Next, let's uh, grab this one. Oh, we got some Uggs. Uh, looks like men's size 11. Uggs. Oh, those look nice. Those look comfy. <laughs> they look brand new. Yeah, those are those are pretty nice looking. Brand new pair of men's Uggs. Yeah, so some of these will be for sale in, in, in my eBay store. They'll be drilling down below to an eBay store. Check it out. There's over like 1,400 items available right now to purchase. And, oh, look. This is somebody's Christmas present. <laughs> they still got... The wrapping paper on the bottom of the box. This was somebody's return Christmas present. <laughs> Guess they didn't like them. It happens. You're looking on eBay, these Uggs, they go between 100 to like 120 bucks in new condition. Wow, that's a nice score right there with bonus Christmas paper on the bottom of the box. Can't beat that, right? Everybody likes a little bonus. Let me got this big old box here in the corner. We got a big Columbia box. Ooh, this feels very light. Wonder if it's missing a shoe in here. It feels very, very light. Oh, it's a youth size four. It's probably because they're super small shoes. Yeah, they're just super, <laughs> they're just small shoes. 
youth size fours. Tag still attached. Yeah, those those things are still new. They're both in there. These are just like super, super light. A youth size four. So these new are 40 to $50 in that range. 40 to 50, so it's not bad. It's not bad. Let's see, next pair. What brand is this? Rika? Size six and a half men's. Rika. Oh, it says six and a half men's, but it says made for women, but it actually says, oh, six and a half size, like medium, not men's. Think, Clint, think. <laughs> well, size six and a half women's. It happens. Sometimes the brain just doesn't click the first like go around. Those are nice. They're super light. Rika? Is this a good brand? It's got nice packaging. Nice presentation. Hopefully it's a good ones. And these sell between like 60 and 70 bucks in that range. 60 to 70. They're brand new shoes. Hey, I will take it. I will take it. Here we go. Let's do a pair of Converse. There's actually, let me grab both of them. There's two pairs of Converse's. The boxes are kind of kind of dusty. They've been in stores for a while. Let's see, are these the same ones? Um, no, they are different. They are different. This one's a size five. This one's a size 4.5. Converse, some low top Converse, brand new. Looks pretty nice. Check out the other pair, see what those look like. Oh, it looks like we have a, uh, like like the high top, just the, just the normal, like Converse All-Stars. Both brand new. I think most Converses I can usually sell for about like 30 bucks a pair in that range, like 30-ish. They sell pretty well, pretty easily. That's not bad, not bad. Let's see, let's go back to some Sperry's. There's two pairs of Sperry's right here. Let me see if they're the same pair. E yes, they are, but they're different sizes. It is the uh, Sperry Leeward X Lace Gray, size 9.5 men's and 10.5 men's. So I've got two pairs, same pair, just different sizes. Well, those are nice. It's that good leather smell too, you know. You know when you got some like actual real leather shoes, not pleather, when they have that strong leather smell. These you can have like a foot away from your face and, you, and like you can smell the leather. Those are nice. Sperry's, brand new for that pair. And then the other size, which is a 9.5. Brand new. Yeah, you can you can smell the leather. If you're here with me right now, this room smells like leather. Hey, that is not a bad smell. You smell that you smell that leather smell on sneakers, on shoes, on dress dr dressier shoes. You know you got some nice shoes in front of you. Just looking on eBay, um, it really doesn't really matter which size. They go forty to fifty in that range. Doesn't really matter what size it is. About forty to fifty bucks. Okay. Not too bad right there. Let's see here, we got some Skechers size, 10.5 men's Skechers. The Go Run Razor Plus with Goodyear premium outsoles. Cool packaging. Skech, ooh, those are bright. Wow, <laughs> look at those things. You can see, whoever wears these, you can see them like a mile away, like running towards you. They're super light. I bet they're crazy comfortable. Those are nice though. The brand, brand new with tags. Another brand new pair. So far, every pair, every pair has been brand new. Every pair. Okay, so I found this exact same shoe, size 10. This is this 10.5. It sold for $92. I'm seeing some other ones selling between like 75, different colorways though, between like 75 and like, a hundred so this would be at least 75 bucks right there okay that is not bad let's see what do we got here it's an odd shaped box must be some boots men's size 12 uh luki ohanas looks like these must be some sandals Ooh, those look nice 
Those feel crazy comfortable. Those are brand new. Tag still attached. Yeah, those things are brand new. They're, they feel like crazy soft. So looking on eBay, I'm seeing like as high as 70, as low as 50 in that range, 50 to 70. So it's not bad. They're not crazy expensive. Um, Cause they don't smell like, like quality like leather shoes. They don't have that, that knockout, like Sperry, like, ooh, this is leather smell. You know what I'm talking about, right? But still, it's a nice pair. Oh, we got some more Skechers. Skecher Fashion Knits. Women's size nine. It says these are vegan also. Where are the shoes at? Oh. Oh, okay. It's like a... It's a... The entire top of it's like stretch fit. That's very different. Never seen these before. Okay. Hopefully these sell well. We're going to find out though. So these aren't like crazy expensive. They're like maybe like around 40 or so on average. Not bad. I don't know how well these are, how fast these are going to sell though. They're kind of, they're very different. Okay, we got, looks like four pairs left after these Crocs. Four pairs left. We got Crocs men's size. Men's eight, women's 10. So brand new pair of Crocs. So Amazon, you can buy these brand new for 30 bucks on Amazon. So eBay, what, $20 maybe? Okay, four pairs left. Let's do, let's do, uh, let's do these. The Under Armour, looks like youth size four. Youth size four. They look nice. Nice Under Armour shoes, youth size four. How well do youth Under Armour shoes sell for? Oh, MSRP right there, 58 bucks is MSRP. So do eBay prices, I'm gonna say $30. You know, about half of that for eBay price. Let's see, what is this? That's a pretty box. Skechers on the go sandals. Everything so far, if you remember, everything's been brand new too. Oh, what do we have here? Women's size eight on the go, 600 brilliancy it says. Everything's been brand new. Nice. Brand new with tags. Look to be pretty decent quality. They're Skechers. They look nice. They look comfy. Let's see some value. So these look like maybe around like 40 bucks or so in that range. And it's not bad. These will sell. These will sell. Here we go. Next, we've got some more Steve Madden. Are these the same as the other ones I wanted we had earlier? Yes, they are the Maxima R's. The Maxima R's. So I don't remember what I said these were. Oh, it's the exact same shoe. It's the exact same shoe. What did I say these were? Was it like a hundred or something like that? Whatever they they were, um, I guess go back to the beginning of the video to find out. I'll actually will do the same thing whenever I edit this video to put the up, updated total down below. It's the exact same shoe, brand new. I'll take it. I think it was like a hundred bucks, right? I think it was. Here you go. Here's the last pair of shoes in this box. We got a pair of Sauconies, size, men's size eight, Excursion TR-15s. And brand new shoes again. Every pair in this box, every pair was brand new once again. I don't think I've had one used pair of shoes from the Amazon Palace that I've been purchasing. I don't think I've had one pair of used. They've all been brand new. Most of them still with tags attached. I love these shoe and sneaker liquidation boxes. They are freaking crazy value. Let's see how much these cost. On eBay, these sell on average for about like 60 bucks. About 60 bucks. Hey, that's, that, that's, that's not bad. I'll happily end on a pair of $60 pair of sneakers. So that's it, that is everything in this box. I think this was fantastic freaking value. I think this was very good. A lot of these will be profitable. Yes, they will. So yeah, this was fun. Fun fact, I actually bought a total of six of these liquidation pallets of sneakers. So I've got five more of these to be opened up and unboxed on camera. 
Anyway, I appreciate you watching this video. If you haven't already, go down below and click that subscribe button. I upload this channel every single day. I have not missed an upload in almost three and a half years. Free daily content for you to watch, and I'll see you next time.